good very early Wednesday morning. So I thought I'd put my coffee in the Keurig. I didn't I left Byron's in there and I made me a cup of Byron's coffee. Like 3.19 in the morning. I think the boys don't know what's going on. All right, y'all, this is how weird Florida is. We have to go to St. Pete's to get to Tampa. It's very strange. Leaving St. Pete's, going to Tampa. Byron's like, I've never taken this bridge before. I'm like, yes, you have. On our honeymoon, we went from St. Pete's to Tampa to go to the zoo. I was like, I can't wait to go back to that zoo. That's not the point of this, though. <laughs> Guys, there's the airport. Nice trees now. And well, ugh, whatever. We get lost at every airport. Hopefully, I don't get lost leaving. Or I'm just gonna drop him off instead of doing parking because that would be way too much of a headache. Trying Should I do a short term and walk you in? Uh, you, uh, you don't have a choice now. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't get over. You should have made a decision a while ago. All right. Well, that decision was made for me. It's all good. I gotta go right through security. Well, I, I know, sure. but still. Yeah, you should have told me before ahead of time. I gotta plan for that. I didn't plan for that. I know. I didn't think about it. I got all nervous once. Watch the bucket. I don't know where it went. It rolled away. Oh, okay. It's got the shit out. Oh god, I didn't mess up anything in your car. Oh. I'm getting so emotional. So do you think they'll let us stop and do a selfie real quick? Yes. I have to merge out of here? Well, just take your time. Love you. Mm. Alright, love, love you. you. Alright, I'll give you a call once I'm inside. Alright. Alright, love you. Love ya. Drive safe. You got the thing on your phone, call me. Don't be late, huh? Y'all ain't here. Love you. Alright, so I am here at Tampa International Airport. Heading on over to security so I can go to my gate. It's a little hard leaving Sarah to do this morning. It's weird, I haven't flown on a flight since Virginia. I think it's three years ago. So usually we're taking flights together, so it's very strange. So I was a little nervous that I was gonna be able to get the change out in time. The car in front of me is doing that. So I'm glad that they took their time because then I feel less nervous. Morning. There you go. Thank you, have a great day. You too. I just made it through security. Pretty smooth. Walking to my gate right now, I'm gate 62. So that was like the smoothest security I've ever been to. Right now the time is 5.15 and I'm bored at 5.50. A little nervous. This is my first time ever driving Skyway, like driving. And it's a little nerve wracking. Such a big bridge and you know, we talked to Byron. He made it through security. He is now sitting at his gate. Um, he said that it actually was no problem. Um, we've grown up with Atlanta's airport and Atlanta's airport in the morning is packed. God, this is crazy. Look at it. Even by myself at 5.30 in the morning, that bridge is still beautiful. If you're ever in the St. Pete's, Tampa, Bradenton area, do that bridge. That bridge is worth the dollar fifty toll. Breakfast before the flight, eggs, chorizo, some toast, some coffee. Hope I don't regret this on the flight. So we're about to board the flight. It's my plane right there. That's a little creepy. I like when the person in front of me is going the speed limit because then I don't feel bad about going the speed limit under 10 minutes so I'm home guys. That was a crazy drive guys but I am home at 6.50 right on the dot. I'm supposed to get home at 6.45. Y'all know how I like to add time to my trip. But. Does anyone else's gas foot hurt like your, like right here, like your thigh after you drove like a long distance? Barn closed his door. Checked because I was like, a our recycling bin already looked empty. The recycling people already came. No wonder why we missed them last week. It's like just now 7 a.m. They are on top of it. Oh, yeah, you don't even understand. I mean, I know the sun looks like it's blaring on me right now, but it, oh, it's so nice out. It's like in the mid 60s. That's so why I don't normally do the morning walk because it's poop cleanup detail. It's really Byron's thing. I don't know who follows me on Twitter, but if you do, I was talking about the other day 
we were trying to let the dogs out without their leashes because we had taken a bike ride and it felt bad because they didn't get to go for their walk. And Tim Tam like refused to come in the yard unless I had his leash on him. Now Smuggers, without their leashes, he runs big, like he runs out the door and he runs this big circle around the yard and then pees on the house because that's Smuckers. Hey, I am back in Atlanta. All right, I didn't film at the airport. Got a little busy there. Um, had to make sure I make it to the train on time. Good afternoon, guys. It's about noon. Got a little, a little under two hours of sleep. I was hoping for a little bit more, but I'm okay right now. I'm super hungry, so I'm gonna get some uh, lunch and then get the boys some lunch. I woke up. I always leave Disney on because I know nothing scary or creepy is gonna come on Disney. I'm not gonna wake up and it's gonna be like Goose Hunters or something. And so I woke up or whatever, and I was talking to my mom, and I tried to pause the TV, but it wouldn't pause, and all of a sudden I just turned off. So I got off the phone with my mom and I'm like, why? And so I tried turning it back on and the screen kind of was black. I'm like, all right, maybe maybe something's just wrong with the cable or the TV or whatever. I was like, am I gonna mess with it? I'll wait till Byron comes home, he can mess with it. So then I, I was watching my Grace report and I'm tweeting and all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, like the TV just turns on. I'm like, maybe the, you know how channels sometimes go out? I didn't check any other channels. So you know how sometimes the channels just like go black for a few minutes. All right guys, I'm fed, boys are fed. Sparkers heard me talking about him. So it's about 2.30, got a nice little breeze. It's definitely a little warmer today. We've already hit 91. What are you barking at? A UPS man across the street, you might be barking at him. That's like how Smarters looks because he knows that I'm turning the camera on, but look what I see, guys. More a bit, a biz, whatever. More birds, more things I'll call cranes. You see these brats right now? Especially Tim Tam, like, he loves his pillows. Start on the vlog. It's four. I have four hours so I have to leave and I have to eat dinner. It is the end of the work day. Right now I'm waiting for my folks to get here to pick me up. It's been a busy day. Do not get to record in the offices I'd like to, but hopefully I should get my mom and dad on a video camera or at least I'm gonna take a picture with them. And then I'll turn around and head back up to the airport. I am tired. I just put up the clips, you know, on the computer for Saturday's vlog. I have 67 clips minutes to seven I have to leave out by eight get there by like 9 30 10 he lands at 10 all right we're eating here today eat with my mom and my dad we're gonna have some barbecue real quick other day I was making half round I thought the front eye was on turns out I turned the back eye on it's my first round of bacon I was talking to my mom, I burnt it. I got some good bacon now and some hash browns in my coffee. So I told my mom, I was like, call me back at eight and make sure I'm out of the house. Oh, look at this beautiful night sky. It feels so good out. Makes me uber jealous that we're not going for a bike ride at night. All right guys, just got gas. I meant to get $10 and I ended up getting 10.30. Let me go up to um, 10.50 just to make it even. I ended up at 10.54. On my home, I got really thirsty. So I got two waters. I was just talking to Byron and said I was going to get in at 9.59. Got caught at this red light. Now I'm getting in at 10. I like how the red light added a minute. Third time I've seen the Bradenton Water Tower today. Never thought I'd say that. Going to see it four on the way home. It's a new record. Skyping with my mom on Skyway. Look, you see it? I'm enjoying it. So apparently when I called my mom, my phone shut off my navigation, but I don't know my way through St. Pete, so I told my mom, you know, that I have to let her go, so I pulled up to the thing and it's telling me to take a right, and that's on the sign, it says no rights. I'm like, uh, but it meant no rights on red. So I took the wrong road. Byron's already landed. I took the wrong road, so then I had to loop around. I guess that's what I get for being on the phone with my mom. We're here. Let this be a reminder to everybody. Charge your phone when you're somewhere. It's been a crazy, crazy time trying to get in here. Now I'm back in that curb area where I had to fight to get out of this morning. I missed the terminal. I had to go around. I see him, I think he sees me. There's my husband. Hi. Oh. Fine? Don't hide me, mm -hmm. Mr. Phone Dead. Y'all, this is the fourth time I've been on this bridge today. I've never been on Skyway more than twice in one day. Y'all, Byron's little thing broke. I hope it wasn't my fault. So there's like a release button and sometimes I hit it and sometimes I just pull the camera out of it. 
And I did it with my phone right before it broke. But guys, I took no sips of my waters. Hi, monkeys! How are you doing? Yeah, this stuff ain't a couple times. Figure out who I am. And it smells like bacon in here. It does. Leave me alone. I burnt my bacon. Hey boys, it's bedtime. And Sparkers is on the bed. Apparently Sparkers doesn't think we all need to go to bed. Either. We just watched Survivor. Um, because Byron, you know, wanted to unwind a little bit. You guys are watching this season. I love Wendell. So close to being voted out at Tribal. He lucked out. We'll see y'all on Saturday. Hope everyone has a great Wednesday, has a great rest of the week, and we'll see y'all then. Bye.